The deep sea has always been an enigmatic realm, where the boundaries between myth and reality are often blurred. This world, hidden beneath miles of dark, crushing water, is so remote and unfamiliar that it naturally gives birth to legends and stories. One of the most enduring of these tales is that of mermaids, mysterious, half-human, half-fish creatures who are said to dwell in the deepest corners of the ocean. But could these legendary beings be more than just folklore? Could they have been inspired by real encounters with strange creatures from the depths? Or is there something about the sea that makes us dream of them? The idea of mermaids dates back to ancient civilizations. The Greeks told tales of sirens, seductive creatures whose songs lured sailors to their doom. These stories were born from the dangers of the sea, where sailors faced unpredictable storms and treacherous waters. The sirens were often portrayed as beautiful women with the bodies of birds or fish, a symbol of both allure and peril. Over time, the legend of mermaids evolved, and they became more commonly depicted as having the upper body of a woman and the tail of a fish. In the centuries that followed, sailors and explorers reported strange sightings during their voyages, encounters with beings they described as mermaids. Some claimed to have seen them swimming gracefully in the sea, or perched on rocks, singing haunting melodies. These sightings, however, were likely a mix of superstition and misidentification of real sea creatures. Manatees, for example, with their rounded bodies and slow, graceful movements, could easily be mistaken for a mermaid from a distance. In fact, many of the earliest mermaid sightings were likely the result of encounters with manatees or dugongs, large marine mammals found in tropical waters. The deep sea, with its extreme conditions and alien-like creatures, only adds to the mystique of mermaids. In the ocean's darkest depths, where light is scarce and strange beings like the anglerfish and giant squid lurk, the idea of mermaids seems all the more plausible. The ocean is a place where the laws of nature often don't apply, and creatures that seem impossible by terrestrial standards thrive at unimaginable depths. This strange, uncharted world fuels the belief that mermaids or creatures like them could exist in the hidden, unexplored corners of the sea. In today's video, we're not looking at space to find aliens. Instead, we'll be checking out the deep sea. The deep sea video is a highly inhospitable alien environment with loads of strange creatures. Many of these creatures possess features that don't seem to belong to our world. If you're curious to know more, let's dive right in. The deeper you go in the ocean, the stranger the environment gets. Right at the bottom, the seabed looks like something you'd find in a sci-fi movie. In 2017, scientists were able to run an expedition to a submerged volcano in the Pacific Ocean. What they saw left them speechless. They called it the Forest of the Weird. Instead of trees, the forest was made up of oddly shaped corals. This includes some that resembled bottle brush plants and others that were flattened and heart-shaped. Many had pink brittle stars, relatives of starfish, wrapped around their branches. The corals were dotted among glass sponges. One looked like a frilly white petticoat caught in a breeze. It was swaying in the ocean current, hoisted on a zigzag stalk. Most intriguing of all was a glass sponge on tall stalks. It had what looked like a melon-shaped head with two holes, appearing similar to googly eyes. This species was nicknamed the E.T. sponge. In 2020, it was given the scientific name Advahena magnifica. This means the magnificent alien. Conditions on the seabed may resemble those on other watery planets or moons. 
Whether it's merely coincidental or life was seeded here by inhabitants of those other planets, no one can say for sure. It's safe to say that we know less about our planet and the deep ocean than we do about space. The creatures living down there are weird. Every once in a while, scientists will discover a new species. These either look like something out of a children's cartoon or a creature from the nightmarish depths of hell. Some creatures look like bundles of rope. Others look like literal blobs of flesh when taken out of the water. There's the unfortunately named Sarcastic Fringe Head, a tiny fish with massive jaws. There's even a fish that looks like a xenomorph from the alien movies. Here's one of these strange creatures named Sloan's Viperfish. It has cells that can produce light. Called photophores, these cells are used to lure unsuspecting prey toward its mouth. Once it catches its victim, the viperfish's hinged teeth rotate inward. This traps the animal, preventing its escape and forcing down the predator's gullet. And it's not the only fish to do so in the deep ocean. Many others are also capable of producing light, like the anglerfish. Speaking of the anglerfish, it has a rather strange reproductive method. The male of the species is much smaller than the female. Their way of mating involves the male fusing with the female. This essentially dissolves the male's body. In the end, only the male reproductive organs are left that allow them to produce new offspring. Rotating teeth, light-producing cells, fusing to mate, that sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? As always, when aliens are involved, you'll get a slew of sightings. Lake Baikal is the deepest lake in Russia and contains one-fifth of the world's unfrozen fresh water. It may not be part of the ocean, but its depths make it equally mysterious and host to various unknown species. In the closing years of the Soviet era, it became the location of several alleged alien and UFO sightings. We often hear about UFO sightings in America, but there have been many reported cases in Russia too. These were initially covered up by the authorities, but the media brought them to light. Sightings included aliens spotted by military divers in Baikal's depths and large spaceships hovering over its waters. These images show what two photographers claim were UFOs buzzing the lake. In 1982, seven military divers reported encountering aliens under the waters of Baikal. Alexei Tivanenko, a doctor of history, said, at a depth of 50 meters, they met swimmers, around 3 meters tall, dressed in tight-fitting silvery suits. These suits appeared similar to modern-day astronaut suits. They did not have any scuba or other devices, just the suits and helmets on their heads. They received an order to catch the Ichtiander, half-boy, half-shark, from Russian folklore, but they were immediately washed ashore with signs of decompression. Unfortunately, only four divers survived the trip into the depths. The other three died of decompression sickness from their rapid surfacing. They were unable to find those strange humanoids again. Tivanenko likens the appearance of these strange beings to petroglyphs found in ancient ruins. He claimed to have hundreds of drawings with these sons of the sky. As of today, only 20% of the ocean floor has been mapped. What is down there? Perhaps giant squids, strange eyeless fish, or even weirder things. The ocean is vast and deep enough to hide many secrets. You could even fit an entire alien civilization down there in the deep trenches. One of these mysteries is related to the dead sharks in Africa. The coast of South Africa became a watery crime scene in May 2017. Three dead great white sharks washed ashore all at once. The puzzling part is that they were all missing their livers. One was even missing its heart. Scientists performed necropsies on all three sharks, examining their injuries to uncover the cause of death. What could have been large or fierce enough to kill a great white shark? The commonly accepted theory is that it was an attack by other great whites or orcas, which are known to hunt sharks. But this doesn't account for a large number of dead sharks washed up all at once. 
Could it have been an extraterrestrial being that attacked them? The deep sea remains one of the most uncharted and awe-inspiring frontiers of our planet, a place where life thrives in forms that seem to defy logic and challenge our understanding of the natural world. As we peel back the layers of this vast underwater realm, we encounter creatures that seem straight out of a science fiction novel. Beasts like the goblin shark, with its eerie extending jaw and sharp needle-like teeth, or the Dumbo octopus, gliding through the abyss with its otherworldly ear-like fins. The fang-tooth fish, with its terrifyingly large teeth, and the anglerfish, with its bioluminescent lure that attracts prey to its massive jaws, further deepen the mystery of the ocean's darker depths. Even stranger still are creatures like the vampire squid, which thrives in oxygen-poor waters, or the sea spider, with legs that stretch far beyond what any land-dwelling creature could ever imagine. But with every discovery, the ocean reveals even more secrets, leaving us wondering what could still be hidden in the darkest depths. As of June 2024, modern technology has mapped approximately 26% of the ocean floor, yet only around 5% of the ocean has been explored. This leaves over 80% of the ocean still uncharted. Maybe before colonizing Mars, we should first explore our deep seas here on Earth, which harbor such mythical creatures and organisms. If you're fascinated by these bizarre underwater worlds and want to explore even more mind-blowing ocean mysteries, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an adventure into the unknown. Drop a comment below. What's the most bizarre deep sea creature you've heard of? And as always, keep your curiosity alive because the deep sea is waiting and who knows what we'll discover next.